So we're here in uh, Manchester District Court. Uh, I was arrested June 4th of this past year for chalking the police station during a protest against police brutality here in Manchester. Uh, it's been about eight, nine months, and there's been a trial. I've been convicted of all four charges, which is criminal mischief, graffiti, and two counts of resisting. I face anywhere from $2,000 in fines to two years in jail. We'll see what happens. I mean, they could try to make an example out of me and sentence me to longer, or maybe the judge has some reason today and says, time served and this is it, you know, big deal. So we'll see what happens. Good morning, I'm Rivers, I'm the state of New Hampshire. Uh, with regards to the petty matters that before the court, there is a prior criminal record that the government is aware of. It includes the following. Uh, the state of Wisconsin on August 15, 2007, felony conviction. Here's the felony level possession of uh, controlled drug. THC is a listed drug in this matter. Similar charge, similar conviction, 2004. Both matters appears the defendant did some sort of time. Um, here the 21 days on one and 40, 40 days on the other with additional sent, uh, suspended time. According to the records that I have, there are no, there's no record here in the state of New Hampshire that I'm aware of, uh, nor in any other jurisdiction that I've been provided. With regards to the Class B misdemeanor criminal mischief, the government's gonna ask for a $1,200 fine, $1,000 is suspended for two years on good behavior. Good behavior to include the modification uh, beyond the traditional definition of no felonies, misdemeanors, or serious violations of laws defined by the provincial offender statute to include no further, no violations of chapter 99, entitled graffiti of the city of Manchester code of ordinances. Defendant is paid restitution to the city of Manchester in the amount of $375 uh, for the cleanup efforts. That's payable through uh, probation. On the resisting arrest or detention charges, Identical concurrent sentences, 12 months in the house correction, 10 months are suspended for two years on the same condition of good behavior. The government is recommending 60 days staying committed in this matter, uh, minus any pretrial confinement credit the defendant may have. Based on the fact that he is, does have two prior felony convictions, albeit out of state matters, and albeit the most recent one being uh, 2007, he did receive state committed sentences in those matters, as well as suspended sentences. Given the goals of sentencing, not appear that a minimal stay in the house correction uh, has had a deterrent effect that is intended, no punitive effect that is intended. Therefore, the government feels that a longer stay in the house correction will hopefully have the deterrent effect uh, that is desired. And ask the court to adopt said sentence. Thank you, sir. Sir, you wish to be heard with regard to sentence? Sure. Um, I believe that if damage is the crime that I've been committed of, it would only seem logical to have me repair or replace the damage, that jail time is only a further punishment to society who had no uh, recourse or action in any of these matters. Um, I don't think Valley Street was built for individuals who expressed their dissent for actions of certain government officials. Um, I'm more than happy to do some community service, pay a fine uh, for the amount the state has recommended, 375. I think that's absurd considering it's three times the amount of any uh, any financial amount that's been assessed to this damage. That trial, you remember, was $125 the Manchester Fire Department is claimed to be at loss. So I, I don't understand that. I'd be happy to, again, do some community service. I've already done three days in jail for this and maybe pay uh, a reasonable amount of what the damages were to my case. I think uh, jail time it's counterproductive to what this court stands for, and that's to protect and serve a community. It would only punish them by jailing you because Valley Street wasn't built for individuals who use Chuck. Sir, with regard to the criminal mischief, I'm imposing a fine of $1,200 with $1,000 suspended and a $48 penalty assessment. The suspension condition is for one year on the condition of no, no good behavior and no violations of city ordinance 99. Now, you have a, an incorrect memory of what happened with regard to what the fire chief said. The deputy fire chief said it was $125 an hour with a minimum of three hours. If you recall what I wrote in the order, 
I wrote that there was an issue as to how much could be apportioned. Because of that, as I did with Mr. Gilbraith, I did not impose probation because I can't ascribe an amount that can be attributable to your conduct. That being the case, it puts the court in the unenviable position of having you atone for things that did not, that may not be your responsibility, and hence I do not feel that it would be appropriate as the probate, as the restitution statute is written, to have you put in the position of dealing with conduct that is um, that I that that it cannot be directly related to you. There is a Supreme Court ruling um, that <coughs> talks about three criteria being fit. And frankly, given the first of those prongs, I just don't feel that I can make an order of restitution under this particular set of circumstances. With regard to the other two matters, you are sentenced to the House of Correction for a period of 12 months with 10 months suspended. Do you wish to appeal from this sentence for a jury trial? So I'm under these circumstances, I have 12 months sentence, 10 of it stayed, I'll go sit two, and what happens after the two months I have to behave for the next? For, for two years, good behavior plus the no violation of 99. To help you. All right then, with regard to payment of the $230, uh, $248, sir? Yeah, I'd rather sit that out. Well then, why don't you come over? I'll have a deputy take you into custody. Eleven fourteen. Yeah, uh, custody two oh one, please. How many days is two forty eight? I think that's five. Fifty dollars a day. Please stop hurting peaceful people. All right, then we have another group of detainees to be brought up to deal with. There's nothing more I can accomplish out here. I'll take a recess. Please rise, folks. Man, he even has people open doors for him. Two months in jail for walking away. <coughs> the dog's on alert. The taser's on high. Yes, buddy. Still free. Free in your mind, my friend. Postcards waiting for you. Love you, dear. If in the unfortunate uh, case that you are caged, what would you uh, like people to do? I mean, would you like people to write you? Uh, sure. I mean, first and foremost, if you're considering moving to the Shire, I would uh, appreciate folks who would up their move dates or come out here a little sooner. But we can always use more people because it shows these folks that what they're doing is wrong and that more people are thinking that. So that's what I'd say first of all. Second, share copblock.org content or freeking.com. Uh, two great resources. Though I'm in jail, I'm still an activist, and I'd like to do outreach and talk to the inmates there. I'll be to be a bastion for people who are victimized by the state. So try to do what we can. How long can you let it go? We